looks like you're having problems with your power sliding door on your Toyota Sienna, huh? Can't get it open? We've seen that problem before. Want to know how to fix it a cheap way? Stay tuned. Now, just a quick recap of what's going on here. This customer is having problems with their power sliding door, but the one on the passenger side. So there's actually a feature from Toyota where you could actually uh, slide door off. You can actually press that button and it'll disable the whole power door sliding system. This one, as you can see, it opened just fine, but you manually have to open it. The way these doors work is they have a motor on the door itself and they have a cable system that pulls it as soon as you grab it into the handle. Obviously we're having problems with the passenger side and we're going to go ahead and see if we could actually cut the cables and see if we could get it open and close just manually. Right now it's very very hard to get it open. Now for whatever reason on this one the customer just wants to see if he could just get the cables cut so he could open and close the door manually. Um, it's not interested in repairing it, so that's why you read the title right. We're gonna fix this the cheap way. So, as I explained earlier, there's a cable, there's a motor, and obviously something's wrong here. You can see me try to open this door, and it's very, very hard. Um, as you can see over here, looks like the cable's broken. See that right there? Uh, we're gonna see if we could try to get this uh, uh, cable cut up and see if we could open up this door and just have it work manually. Now by me pushing on the door hard as I can, I got it up uh, open quite a bit and here's the end of the cable as I showed you before. and. I mean, I think it attaches somewhere here, but you see the end of the the other um, end of the cables over there. We're gonna go ahead and try to cut that, and if we cut it, I think the door may be able to slide back and forth just manually. So it's gonna be tough, but I don't think it's impossible. Um, as you see, that's pretty much what a cable comes around that loop. This tool right here, I'm actually gonna pull on the uh, cable and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. It could be very tricky to get in there, but I mean, like I said, it's not impossible. There it is. Uh, let's see if we can get a shot of it right there. So I'm gonna go on the inside of the car and I'm gonna see if I can cut it. Okay, so since the cable snapped by on its own, um, the other end of the cable, uh, let's see if I can focus on that. It's actually right there. That's where it connects to. So we we can actually pop that off and see what that does. And see if it makes it easier to uh, either remove or cut the cable by itself. So with this tool, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up on that. Um, and see what that does. Okay, so I went ahead and popped it off. See right here. Now let's see what that does to the sliding door. And there we go. We got the sliding door moving back and forth just easily. Now we're gonna see if we just cut that, pull that off or just cut the end of it. And we'll be done. 
Now you can't see it, but the actual the other the end of this cable actually goes all the way through here inside to the cable assembly, cable pulley assembly. And it's just uh, we're not taking this door panel off and cutting it from inside here. We're just gonna go ahead and like we did, we just pop that off straight out. Like you take the tool, pry it towards you, and it comes right out. We're gonna go ahead and cut it right about here or as close as possible to that uh, latch assembly. Um, and that's it. We'll be on our own. We're just op operating the doors manually. Um, if the if the cable at the other end uh, was just uh, as you see the cable right there if the cable was just like binding you still have to cut it in this case it was already uh, snapped so we're just gonna go ahead and and cut the end of it and we're gonna cut this end over here and that's it we'll be done and we'll be on our way now I went ahead and cut the cable with this tool right here it's just a regular pair of dykes. I mean, if you have anything longer, it'll be helpful, but I mean, it's not so hard after all. And we're gonna cut, I'm gonna show you how to cut the end of it, the other, the, the outside end. So pretty much just pull this cable, okay? You, I'm sorry pull this cable right here and we're gonna cut it at its closest part so nobody sees it okay there we go and there it is this is pretty much where it broke off right here and there we go we have the both ends now we have the door operating manually as if there was no power feature and you could do that open you can open it and close it from the inside and from the outside okay and just like that we got this sliding door working manually Okay, so as I mentioned in the title, how to fix this thing the right way, nah, just kidding, how to fix it the cheap way, you would do that. You would cut the cables and the door will have to be operated manually. Uh, not the correct way to fix it, but if you don't want to break the bank or just can't afford to do the repair by buying the motor, the cable pulley assembly and all that, then this is the way to do it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Best to you.